hello to all the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors of Bishop Hartley High School. We're going to do a series of videos called What We Know Now, and the purpose behind these videos is to give you all the relevant information that you need to know at that particular time. So let's begin as we begin everything here at Bishop Hartley in prayer. We're going to pray to St. Jude, the patron saint of tough situations, hopeless causes. We've got a tough situation here, so let's bow our heads. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Most holy apostle St. Jude, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of hopeless cases, of things almost despaired of. Pray for me. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege given to you to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of. St. Jude, worker of miracles, pray for us. St. Jude, helper of the hopeless, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you'll remember, we came together as a class on Friday, March 13th, and there was some news that we had to sort of not come to school for three weeks in order to accomplish this so social distancing. And so uh, we, we were talking about being kind to one another, keep the seniors in your prayers because it's, it's particularly tough on them. And that has gone from March 13th to April 6th. And then we got another directive that said we need to flatten the curve. So now we're, we've gone from April 6th to May 4th. Listen, there's a lot of speculation after May 4th. Let's just take this one step at a time doesn't necessarily mean we're not preparing for anything after that, but let's, let, let's take this one step at a time. And so they said, please stay away from school until May 4th. These stay at home directives might've caused a lot of different feelings in you. I know that I talked to the seniors yesterday. You can imagine their senior year without the spring of their senior year, but even for our underclassmen, even for you guys, there might be a lot of feelings of not being able to do your extracurricular activities, not seeing your friends, not seeing your favorite teachers. That creates a lot of anxious feelings or frustration or anger, or you're just mad at the world or you're depressed or you, you there's a lot of feeling. All those feelings, all of those feelings are legitimate and you have the right to feel that. Now there's a, ser there's a, a, a study called from Kubler-Ross it's called the five stages of grief. And, and be quite honest with you, this very well might be a, a grieving process. But they go from denial to anger to um, depression to bargaining to acceptance. The reason I tell you that is eventually we have to get to acceptance over this. We have to get to acceptance in order to move forward. I don't expect you to get there right away because remote learning might be very difficult for you. It's like, I really don't, I need my teachers in front of me. You know what, your, teacher, your teachers need you in front of them as well. So this is new to all of us, but eventually we have to accept it and move forward. So I'm praying for you every day. Make sure that you, you pray for your teachers as well. I wanna make a, a series of announcements for you. So you need to kind of pay attention. The first one is from all of us, teachers, counselors, administrators. If you remember, Mr. Kowalski said at that meeting on Thursday, March 13th, that there would be no grades. We have one week to get ready, another week is spring break, and then the, the remote learning week is gonna be a, a week where we kind of move you forward. Well, three weeks turned into seven. Who knows if it's gonna turn into 11, but everything has changed. So you need to understand that teachers will be providing assessments that will evaluate the mastery of content. And we're asking teachers to exercise some flexibility and understanding with you, but you need to check power school every day. And you need to communicate with your teachers through email if you don't understand something and you're expected to complete all assignments and those assignments will be graded. So things have changed a little bit, going from three weeks to seven to who knows how many. So progress reports will be electronically sent April 27th. You don't have to wait that long if you don't feel like you're keeping up. Make sure that you commu communicate with your, your teachers. And 
Our remote learning, our virtual school runs Monday through Thursday. The exception of, of tomorrow, which is Good Friday, beginning next week, it's Monday through Thursday, even though on the calendar it, it had uh, Easter Monday on it. And then Friday is the time to catch up and communicate and do some other things. So that's very important. This is from all of our counselors, Mrs. G and Ms. Coletti and Mr. Franz, as well as Dr. Murphy and Mr. Laskoviak. If you're feeling any sort of uh, anxiousness, or even if you, if you need help with your academic work or you're concerned about your emotional or personal welfare, they want you to call them. They are there for you. So make sure that you do that. We're all on, uh, we're all on duty here. And so they, they wanted me to reach out to you and to tell you that. Also, the counselors are starting a class page on PowerSchool, a class page on PowerSchool Again, it's for your grade level. It's like for ACT information, for the upperclassmen, wellness information. So make sure that you check into that. Then Mr. Jahan wanted me to tell you that starting tomorrow, Good Friday, there will be a, a weekly activity that will be posted on your mentor group class page in order for students to stay connected to our six pillars. Tomorrow, we're gonna have Stations of the Cross led by some teachers. And I think that's just a wonderful thing to do because that will be done throughout the country tomorrow on Good Friday. So please join us for that spiritual exercise. Also remember, Mr. Jahan wanted me to re, uh, remind you that service hours are no longer required. No student will be, receive any consequences for missing any hours. So everybody got sort of a reprieve, but I know being good kids that you will help out at home and provide some service for your mom and dad. Mr. Reese is still working on the yearbook, so check periodically for any information on that. Okay, that's probably more for seniors than anything else. If you have any device questions, make sure that you email Mr. Reese. And if you have any power school questions, make sure you email Mr. Jahan. Uh, Ms. Mrs. Roberts wanted me, if you're a part of the uh, Bishop Hartley Hooked on Books Club, Please check your email for a message from Mrs. Roberts. Megan Groom and, and the advancement teams are doing a lot of great things for the seniors, but you might get a kick out of them as, as well. We're gonna, this week we're doing a throwback Easter where we're taking pictures of all the seniors when they were just little dudes. And then next week we're going to do something great for the seniors about spring musical and, and spring sports. that they, they didn't get a chance to participate, so we're going to have the coaches and the directors talk a little bit about them. So every week there's going to be something that you'll be interested in. So listen, I, communication is so important during this time. And so I want you to know that you'd be hard pressed not to get the information. It's either through PowerSchool, Final Forms, the website, then all the social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Know that we love you. Know that we know that you're going through a tough time. We're here for you. Teachers are working overtime in order to do the very best that they can for you. Please continue to pray. Have a good Holy Week. Thank you. Hello, Hartley Hawks. As part of your student services team, we want you to know that we're here to support your mental health during this time. Taking care of your emotional well-being is more important now than ever. Don't hesitate to reach out for support, whether you have before or not. We want you to be safe and be well. Our contact information and resources to support you during this time are located on the School Counseling class page in PowerSchool. As Hawks, we're all in this together.